I just, <laughs> oh my god, I just threw the meat in and I'm gonna go ahead and, you have me confused now. What do you mean? Okay, so yesterday we made a Sam's Club run and I picked up these <laughs> Premier Protein shakes. These are my absolute favorite shakes. I'm not a fan of all the flavors. I just like chocolate. That's just my favorite. So um, these are great for when I'm having a day where I'm not feeling like eating a lot of meat and I still need to get my protein in. So these are a lifesaver. Having this really helps a lot because protein is super important on keto, even though it's supposed to be in moderation. Um, if you don't have enough protein in your diet, you will end up losing hair. And I know that from personal experience. Um, so I try to make sure that I meet my protein goals for the day. And then over here is our fridge. And we picked up some fresh fruits yesterday, some blueberries, strawberries, and grapes. Um, I also picked up a pack of chicken and a ton of ground beef. Um, I'm going to be putting about half of that meat in the freezer for next week and then the other half of the meat I'm going to be eating this week. All of those drawers there are vegetables. More vegetables there, more vegetables here, and then this is like our cheese slash deli meat drawer. And um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that we got. We cook a lot of fresh foods. We don't eat a ton of like packaged foods. That's pretty much the easy way to get by on keto is to make everything yourself. So yeah, this is my messy fridge. Um, and right now I'm gonna get started on cooking brunch. Basically breakfast for lunch. Okay, so here's what we have going on for brunch today. We have our bacon. Um, we have eggs, and then we're also going to be doing waffles. So if you guys have not tried this keto waffle mix, it is absolutely amazing. Um, it's five net carbs per serving, which is awesome. And um, it really does give you that, like, I'm not on keto vibe. It's kind of like a trick. One of my favorite snacks is basically making a waffle out of this and having some syrup. That's kind of like one of my little midnight snacks I like to do. But what's cool about this is that it doesn't really have a flavor. So you can pretty much add any flavorings you want to it and customize it any way that you want to. And um, the best part about this also is you just add water to it. It's so freaking easy to make. I am gonna be adding this pumpkin pie spice mix into the batter because um, it's gonna make it taste a little bit better. It has cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg. Um, it's just awesome, I love this. It gives it a really nice flavor. And then I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and I'm also gonna add um, a couple, probably like two tablespoons of Swerve. Um, in the mix to make it a little bit more sweet because keep in mind this has no sweetness to it whatsoever it's very plain okay so I just got done putting the mix the swerve and the cinnamon together and I'm just gonna mix it okay and now I'm gonna add a splash of vanilla extract whoa that was not a splash pour some water in I like to eyeball this I don't usually measure you can make it as thick as you want it to be. You can also make it as liquidy as you want it to be. I'm gonna make it just a little bit more liquidy. Um, so my mini waffle maker is already ready to go and I'm just going to spray it with some coconut oil cooking spray. So I'm just gonna go on the bottom. Um, this is really important because you don't want it to stick. And you're literally just going to grab some, throw it right down in there. And that should be enough. Then you just smoosh it down and let it cook. And when the light goes off, that means it's ready. And as you can see, the light went off and it's pretty much done. 
I like mine to be a little bit more crispy, so I'm just going to leave it in there for a couple more seconds, but it's literally that easy. Um, you can buy this off of Amazon. I will link it down below. It was out of stock when I purchased it, so I actually had to wait <laughs> for like over a month just to receive this, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit kind of hard to pick up, but yep, there you go. There's your little waffle. Isn't this so cool? I love this. And then, of course, you're going to top it with some butter and some sugar-free syrup. This is the lowest sugar-free syrup calorie-wise I could find um, and carb-wise. It only has one net carb, so really great. I think I got this at Winco. My bacon is cooking over here, and now I'm also going to get started on the eggs. Okay, so I'm on my last waffle right now, and I just got done cracking four eggs in here, and I added some salt and pepper, and um, now I'm just going to dump this into a pan. I have some olive oil in there, and we're going to make some scrambled eggs. My bacon's done, it's just resting there, letting the oil drip off of it. That is our brunch for today. So we have um, the two waffles, eggs, bacon, and now you're just gonna top it with the sugar-free syrup. Um, since today's kind of like my first day back officially on keto, um, I'm being a little bit easier on myself and I'm not gonna like, you know, measure everything. Um, so I just kind of been eyeballing it. Um, but that's about how much syrup I like. I don't like to go over that. Um, this is my boyfriend's plate. He's going to load his up with some serious syrup. Um, but I don't really like that. And um, I actually was craving the bacon. So I took the three slices of bacon and only gave him two. But I gave him all pretty much all the eggs. And I gave myself like one egg. So it all works out. But that is my breakfast slash lunch for today. And then um, I will see you guys again later when I'm going to be having my snack. Okay, so for dinner tonight, it's going to be zoodles. And I know it looks like a ton of ingredients, but this is actually one of the easiest dinners that we make. Actually, every dinner we make is super easy because I just prefer it that way. Um, zoodles includes zucchini that gets shredded up in this little, basically it's like a huge giant pencil sharpener and um, it creates the spirals that is going to be used as our noodles. And then I'm going to chop up some onion, some bell pepper, and then we're also going to be doing ground beef. Um, and then we're also going to be using pasta sauce. Now, this was the cheapest one I got at the store. I wasn't necessarily looking at the carbs per se, but I was looking more at the price. And this was like literally a dollar. So I picked it up at the store. It does have a lot of carbs in it though. It does have 11 grams. Um, it has the eight sugar. I picked this up before I decided to go back on keto like hardcore. And if I was at the grocery store right now, I would try and find one that has less carbs. Um, but this will do, it's okay. I mean, it's the first week back on keto. I'm not gonna be super strict. I'm trying to get myself back in the groove of cutting out the carbs. So I'm not gonna sweat it. And then I also have um, some olive oil here. The olive oil is actually gonna be, when I cook the meat, this meat is ground beef, it's 90-10. On a normal keto diet, I would usually get 80-20 and I would get that extra fat that's in the meat, but um, I didn't. they didn't have that at Sam's Club, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of the olive oil to just kind of add a little bit of fat and make sure that it doesn't burn in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I will show you guys the process in just one second. Okay, so I went ahead and put the meat in and now I'm gonna season it. I chopped up the bell what are you doing? <laughs> Be serious. That's the feet. Okay, so I just, <laughs> the meat is cooking and I'm gonna season it. I just chopped up some bell pepper and some onion and um, I still need to do the zoodles, but the meat, I wanna get started. So we're gonna put some salt. Is that enough? Okay. We're gonna put 
put in some pepper. We're going to put some garlic powder. Now we really, really like to season our meat, so don't judge us. Like seriously, we put a lot of seasoning. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. As crazy as you want with the seasonings. And then crushed red pepper. How do you feel about that? Yeah. I think it's good. It gives it like a kick. Makes it a little spicy. I put it last time. Did you like it? Oh, I also forgot to yeah. put oil. I guess I use this. This is not an accurate measuring, but. I should have put the oil first. Yeah. That was my fault. Yeah, yeah. And then I think the other most important part is garlic. <laughs> oh, yeah. And. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Okay, so grab some garlic and throw it in there. Okay. And. I'm gonna mix it all together. Again, the reason why I'm putting oil in here is because this meat is 90 ted, which means it has hardly any fat in it. You're a really cute cameraman. <laughs> You're hired. I also have one of these fancy pampered chef, like ground beef things, but honestly, I think this sucks. And I don't know why I bought it. That thumb. Do you, have you ever used this? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. I don't like it. I don't think it works. Honestly, I never use it. I should just give it away. You can beat people with it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I paid like literally twenty dollars for that because it's Pampered Chef. So. Let's give, let's give it to the Christmas gift. Give it to your mom. Yeah, we're gonna re. She already has one of those. My mom has everything. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let the meat cook and let it do its thing and then i'll pour in the sauce later but now i'm gonna shh, i'm gonna put in the bell pepper and onion and let that kind of like simmer down yeah <laughs> okay so now that that's just gonna kind of chill like get hot and cook i'm gonna work on the zoodles and i feel like oh my god there's a hair on here Okay, and then as you can see, it's like a giant pencil sharpener, and you just twist it, like literally. Does this look like a giant pencil? Looks like a giant something. <laughs> and I'm gonna shred all of these, and I'll show you guys in a minute my big pile of zoodles. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it's take me a while. Yeah. That's even strokes, right? <laughs> okay, that's with them. <laughs> Okay, so our zoodles are done. The big plate of zoodles. Um, this will probably be enough for both of us and then lunch for me tomorrow, so it's perfect. And then our meat is done cooking and at this point when it's looking like completely done, you're gonna pour in the pasta sauce, which is, this is so hard. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so now you're gonna pour your pasta sauce all over the meats. You can get every last drop out. And then you're just gonna stir around your meat and your pasta sauce until it's all combined. <laughs> What's with the angles, okay? <laughs> Okay, so I know it looks kind of funky right now, but it's because the pasta sauce is not heated up yet. So now it's going to kind of cook together and become one. And I'm gonna turn it down to like a low heat. And then as for the zoodles, this part is kind of tricky because you can't overcook it or else they'll get really slimy and gross. And we don't want that. We want like crunchy, like I like my vegetables crunchy. I don't like it slimy. So you're gonna make sure you put olive oil in your pan. Should I dump it all in? Okay, we're going for it. Okay, 
Okay, you grab your tongs and you're just gonna start moving them around and get them coated in the olive oil. And you're just looking to heat them up, okay? You don't wanna overcook them. I can't stress this enough. When they're slimy, they're so gross. It's like, why am I even freaking eating this? Cause it's like so slimy and nasty. We'll be right back. Oh yeah, that's us. <laughs> It's so cute. Okay, and here is the end result. This is our zoodles for tonight. Um, I did end up having some leftover for work tomorrow, but as you can see, this was all the very bottom of the bowl, and it got really mushy and slimy. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to eat this because I'm very picky about my food. I don't like it being slimy. So we'll see how it goes. But I have some Parmesan cheese here to top our zoodles. And that is one of our, I would say common dinners. We cook this a lot because it's pretty easy and delicious. Anyways, all right guys, see ya.